Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is Ask Van Dyke. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man here absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media accounts. Virgil, I would say this is probably the most questions I've ever had to go through for an Ask uh, a player. And honestly, you were the UK's number one trend wow. when we put this out. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, the first one, I'm presuming this was sent in by a Liverpool fan. <laughs> How does it feel being the best defender in the world? Oh. You know, it's it's it's... Nice to hear these opinions, um, but you know what, what I said. It's, it's, they are opinions. Uh, everyone has their own view on how their perfect defender has to be, how their best defender has to be, and um, you know, I'm happy that I'm I've been seen as in, in certain eyes as one of the best defenders in the world. Something to be proud of. Um, working hard for this as well, but. Um, there are plenty of other people in the world that think that other defenders are their best best defender in the world. So everyone has to respect anyone's opinion in my, in my, in my case. I'd have you number one, Virgil. Well, I have to say that. Have you, I'd that. have you number one. <laughs> who, who would you have up there then alongside yourself? If you're not going to put yourself forward, who else would you say, maybe in the Premier League or across Europe, that you're very impressed by? There are so many good defenders out there, I yeah. think, in my opinion. You, know, you can talk about the older, older guys, Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva. Even Jared Piquet, obviously. Yeah. At the moment, Barcelona is not really doing too well, but I have so much respect for what yeah. they've achieved. And but the game has evolved, and, and defending is getting a little bit different now. Obviously, you know, if you look at Laporte, who did you know two years ago very well. If you look at um, Ru Rudiger, I forgot Rudiger. Rudiger. Yeah. You know, I know him personally as well, and I think he had a fantastic season last year. Um, and, and the way he you know, came back from a knee injury. I got even more respect for him, uh, what I've been through now yeah. as well, seeing him doing so well. Matthijs de Ligt, my Dutch guys, you know, yeah. Stefan de Vrij, Nathan Ake, you know, underrated. Well, obviously, if you look at our team, Joel Mati, Joe Gomez. Unreal. I can, I can you can name them all, you can name, name them all. all. But, you know, everyone has their own yeah. attribute. And, um, you know, I, 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 look at, I look at all of them and I look at how they deal with certain situations and try to learn from it as well. But the most important thing is I've got respect for all of them. And um, yeah, that's that's how it should be. Whilst we're on the topic of, of unreal centre-backs then, this next one was sent in quite a lot. How did the chat with Paolo Maldini go <laughs> after the Milan game? Yeah, no, what you said, like the respect <laughs> is incredible, you know, obviously it's a legend of the game. Yeah. Um, you know, the way he played, you know, and, and, and what he achieved as, as a player and also obviously playing at Milan for such a long time, you know, it's so much respect and um, yeah, I just wanted to thank him because um, during the, my injury, I was collecting shirts oh, um, right. and I had a shirt and he signed it for me. So I wanted to thank him again for it and uh, just ask him how he was and that was basically it. But, yeah, legend, legend. That's so much respect for, uh, for this guy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Let's do the next one then. This was by far the most asked question, it has to be said. Who is the toughest forward you've ever come up against? I would say Lionel Messi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to say Lionel yeah. Messi. Not, so, not too surprised. I would say, yeah, like, you know, the, the, I think still the best football player in the world. Yeah. You know, him and, and Cristiano Ronaldo, they have been doing un, <laughs> unreal numbers for the last, you know, decade. And, um, you know, it's incredible what they achieve, but I would say in this case Lionel Messi, just because it was a very tough evening in Barcelona when we lost 3-0. Yeah, um, not a bad performance by Messi that night either. Not, it was, yeah, it was not bad. Uh, luckily we turned it around yeah. in Anfield, so it was, uh, was good, but yeah, I would say him. Is there a name that maybe would surprise the viewers at home, that surprised you potentially, that when you first came up against him you thought, wow, he is a special player, maybe more than I was expecting him to be? But Haaland is, is a special really? striker, you know, I think he's, because he's so strong, he's yeah. strong, he's quick, he got all the attributes to make a defender's life very, very difficult. Um, so yeah, the, f the first time was when he came on at Enfield and he scored. Yeah. It's a bit of a... Was that when he was at Salzburg? He was at Salzburg, yeah, yeah so he was at Salzburg and he had a tap in and he scored. And then, uh, obviously, the away game. Um, he didn't. He got subbed after 65 <laughs> minutes or something. But it was a very tough one, and he really? was, yeah, he was he was very quick, aggressive, like very direct. Um, 
a bit like how Jamie Vardy plays. I yeah. Think the only thing I think Haaland has is, is maybe a little bit stronger than uh, than Vardy, but it's yeah. very could be very difficult uh, <laughs> to play against. So uh, not bad for such a young player, either. <laughs> not bad at all. All right, let's do the next one then. And I think this was sent in by a Celtic fan actually, because quite a few Celtic fans were mentioning this one. You used to bang in free kicks for Celtic. <laughs> when are you going to take one for Liverpool? Wow. Well, yeah, well, you know, I just come back from a <laughs> quite a long injury, <laughs> yeah. so I'm focusing on other things to get back to uh, back head. Um, but you know, if you look at our team, we have Trent Alexander. Not bad. <laughs> he's been showing it already for a couple of years that he's a very, very good free kick taker. Um, so you know, I could only say just be patient. There will be a day when I try it again. If it works, I have no, no idea. But <laughs> you must be on the training ground trying it now well, and then. At the moment, is, is what I said, I just came back from the injury, yeah. so I, I won't want to stress the knee too much in, on this case. Careful. But um, yeah, maybe in the future again. So I, uh, I won't, I won't, I won't suck excited. it off yet. I'm excited. <laughs> it will come again. All right, keep your eyes on that one. Virgil van Dijk free kick coming to your screen soon. This next one is a great question. You're stuck on a desert island, but you have to be stuck with either Trent or Robbo. Yeah. Who do you pick? I'll pick Robo. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I think Robo is funnier in this case. Okay. Um, so it would never be boring. Um, but yeah, I, I could take both of them. But yeah. I think Robo is the one uh, who could make your brighten up your day, even if you have a tough or when it's raining, maybe on desert yeah. island. You know what I mean? So I think he will be the. He's one of the funniest in the team as well. Is there anybody in the Liverpool squad that you think would be really good on a desert island? I'm thinking immediately maybe James Milner would be good, would be good in that situation. Probably, yeah. Uh, he would probably have a surviving uh, mo mode yeah. immediately on. So I think, yeah, he would be one of the good ones. If you want a very chilled one, you can just get Joe Matip over and then uh, you'll be having a nice little holiday there. OK, the next one then. Uh, talking about Joel, you might well say him for this one. Who is the most entertaining player you've shared a dressing room with? I would say Robo. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Robo, our two left backs, by the way, <laughs> Robo and Costas. Costas is also a comedian. You know, he's he's joking about, always lively, always full of energy. Yeah. The same goes for Robo. So uh, I don't know if it's a left back thing, but both of them are very, uh, very lively. Yeah. Okay. Right. This next one, I'm gonna have to get my phone out for Virgil because oh. I'm gonna need you. To the question is, please can Virgil explain this look? Talk me through this, Virgil, because <laughs> quite a few people wow. wanted an explanation. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, those are clocks. Yeah, um, Groningen clocks. Dutch, traditional Dutch shoes. Yeah. Um, Did that's... you get a lot of wear out of them, or? No. <laughs> it was one one photo shoot, one interview I did. I yeah. have no idea why the press chef. <laughs> agreed me to do this, but yeah, you know, it's one of those that you you didn't really are we gonna, about it. Are we going to see a return of the jeans nah, and V-neck combo there? You won't see any of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I'm thinking about it now, I should have never have done it. But you know, it's part of it. You learn and you know, you live and learn. Yeah. So this is also part of it. Maybe we should recreate this with nah, like, Liverpool clothes and uh, oversized jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't. All you right, shouldn't. okay, fair enough. Uh, let's let's move on rapidly away rapidly. from the clogs. Let's move on to who has the best and worst trim at Liverpool. Oh. A very tough question, putting you under the microscope here. Well, well, let's start with the worst at the moment. It's not too <laughs> difficult, if I'm absolutely honest. But Trent. Yeah, you're saying Trent. Yeah, at the moment. It's got a bit. Listen, at the moment he's just waking up and not even touched it probably. <laughs> I told him many times as well. So he knows it. He's probably having something on his mind that he's going to do with it. But um, Do you think in the back pocket he's thinking further he, down yeah, the line maybe, at the start? Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I asked him, like, but he wants to. He's keeping me in the dark a little bit. But Okay. So I would say him. Trent. Sort it out, Trent. Come on. Yeah. Um, and the best, yeah, well. I've got my, my trim for you know years, but I like my long hair and yeah. just have it nice and simple. Um, Are we ever going to see the, the, no, the flowing you locks? You We're see always going to no. see. If I'm see playing, the you see the, see the bun. Yeah. If, you, if I'm not playing, you won't see me anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> then it's then it's loose. Like let let it, let it go. Um, but Oxlade is doing, doing yeah. quite a lot with his his barber, so he's trying to look fresh. Divock <laughs> like likes to. Just look at it. Um, yeah, it's not the best yet. I want to see Joel Mati getting a nice fade. I told him many times. It's in. It's in. I told him the other day. It's on the camera as well. He needs to get it done. 
<laughs> well, he doesn't want it. What, a little skin fade? A little something. He wants to, then, you know, but well, he doesn't want it. That's how he is as well, so I really, I really appreciate that in one case. But I would say those, those guys with the fade, um, they look, they look fresh. Yeah, okay, right, let's move on. Uh, which Liverpool player would you least like to have a boxing match against? This one feels quite out there, so it's a tough question to answer. Yeah, this is a very tough one. I have to think about it. Because I think you would be most other players' pick for this. You'd be in the heavyweight yeah, because category. Because I think they think I'm big, and that's yeah. the only. Yeah. But maybe I'm not quick enough. Okay. You know? But I would say James Milner. I think he would never give up. Really? Just so never knock you, him out. <laughs> you know, even if you punch him down, I think he would back, keep, you know, keep going back up. And so him. Stamina is unreal on James Milner. Unreal, yeah. yeah. I have to say him though. I, had the, I thought the other day, by the way, because I saw the boxing, of course, that yeah. if I was a boxer, I had to fight Anthony Joshua and those kind of guys, I would have been knocked out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander are, Usyk, yeah, because yeah. you're the similar sort of style. Yeah, size. weight as well, yeah. yeah. So it's, when I thought about it, it's, mm. did you watch the fight? What did you think of it? I watched it. Yeah, obviously, like it was a very tactical fight. Yeah, Usyk did very well, um, but you know, it's part of it. You live. You learn, yeah, yeah. And, and you have to get back up to it. So you will probably, uh, Anthony Joshua will probably do the same. Okay, let's see the final question of the day then. Uh, what kept you busy when you were out injured? Playing with my kids. Yeah, yeah just yeah, chilling out. With my kids, yeah, as much as possible. You know, it was. Sounds maybe a bit boring, but listen, we, we I've never been so much together for the last, yeah, you know, seven years um, with my with my family and my kids uh, as I was now. Obviously, I was I was fully focused on recovery, but um, that only is a couple hours during the day, and the rest of the day I was together. And um, I was um, during the winter. I was away for seven weeks in, in Dubai. Mm. I was so grateful for the opportunity they gave me and my family to spend the time together and do you know so many good things that I will always remember for the rest of my life. So um, those were the the main things. Really. Back playing now though, you must be absolutely delighted to be back on the right. pitch. Positive <laughs> notes, let's finish on a positive note Virgil. Very delighted, yeah. You know, obviously, um, just being happy, being having the buzz again of being out there, performing, um, you know, competing with, with others, um, being, being amongst the boys, seeing all the fans back. Yeah. It's just incredible and I won't take it for granted. Um, not, I didn't before, but now, not even now, you know, I, I just want to go out there and, and, and get the maximum out of myself and don't think about, oh, you know, you better this, blah, blah, your, all these, these, these comments that could be coming. I just want to go out there, play, enjoy, um, and uh, we'll see where, where it ends. Virgil, thanks very much. Top Thank man. Very much. Have a good day. Thank you, too.